saying no, nothing wrong. But you must tell if I say no, this is what will happen. Therefore, no is not the right option, yes is the right option. So these are all different methodology to approach the problem. How do you get this? This trick is obtained by using the satsang. Understand from the people who knows this technique. That is why Krishna also said no. Krishna was not selling no. Actually he uses lot of such methodology. Bhagavad Gita gives beautiful methodologies which you can flow and follow in your daily life. It is almost a month back in Janaki Memorial College in Delhi. Philosophy department arranged two days program where I was explaining Sankhya Shastram. Sankhya is logic. The Sankhya Shastram is the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Where practically how do you use? How do you prioritize your role? Know your goals and decide whether you have to say no or not. Arjuna, Krishna, beautiful example. Same school, under same guru, same teacher only taught Duryodhana also. But Duryodhana did a lot of wrong things. That's what general public says. But I don't think Duryodhana agrees that he did something wrong. Why? Because Duryodhana's manas always says what he does is correct. So who was unhappy? His mother was unhappy. Why mother is unhappy? Because she was blind. No. Husband was blind. When husband is blind, the wife is supposed to open the eyes to see the world around. But what she did, she closed her eyes also. That is why people like Duryodhana became a bad student. That is why the son becomes bad. That is why Duryodhana says, Janami dharmam, I know what is right. Nachame pravarti, I am not able to do it. Janamya dharmam, what should not be done also I know. Nachame nivarti, I am not able to stop doing it. Why? Kena bi kamena hrdisti dena. My desire says do this and I am doing it blindly. So sometimes following the desire is blind. So Mahabharata explains it is logical reasoning what is essential. It is the same with uh, Kamsa, Ravana, Krishna. All of them if you look at it you will understand the essence of all these stories are to understand what is right and wrong contextually. It's all contextual. It is not there is no absolute truth in the world. Absolute truth was there. That is the time when Satya Yuga was there. That Satya Yuga truth will not work in Treda Yuga. Treda Yuga truth will not work in Dwavara Yuga. Dwavara Yuga truth will not work in Kaligala. So you must know. And it is not telling yes or no what is important. How do you present it to make the other person convinced? That is the profession of an advocate. Advocate will have to take all the cases, whether it is right or wrong, doesn't matter. But he must be able to prove that what he does professionally is correct. So sometimes individually correct, personally is correct. That is not correct for the family. What is correct for the family need not be correct for the samudaya, the religion in which you belong to, the caste and creed in which you belong to. The place where you are living. The society will not agree. But other society may agree. So the rules are not stable. It keeps changing from time to time, place to place. 